This is Quindor. As he does more often, he is browsing AliExpress for something nice to buy, some interesting new LEDs or something else. And then a specific listing catches his eye. What's this? 332 addressable LEDs per meter in a Cobb LED strip? What? That can't be right. It's, it's quite expensive too. Nah, never mind. But could it exist? Could it be real? Okay, I need to have this. Hey guys, welcome to another video. And well, that intro is kind of true. I am always, especially during a sale, browsing AliExpress and all kinds of websites to find the newest, the coolest, the best, whatever LEDs. And this time I thought, 332 addressable LEDs per meter? That can't be right. That's, that's, that's not, that, that does exist. It's actually real. And it's awesome. I mean, just for a quick comparison, and I'll show you some more B-roll while I do the talking and stuff like that. Um, but just for a quick comparison, uh, I need to look at my screen here. This is 144 LED per meter LED strip, which used to be fairly high amount of LEDs per meter. But this new strip is actually 332. So where there is one LED package over here, there is actually three on the Cobb LED strip. And since it's a Cobb LED strip, it's actually nicely diffused too. So I am flabbergasted. This stuff is awesome. But as I said, I'll, I'll show you lots of demo footage while I talk over it. Um, first technical bits. I did some power measurements. Single colors use about 25 watt for the two meters I have here. So that's uh, 666, no, 664 total LEDs in WLED, as you can see here. And um, well, these are actually indeed single addressable LEDs. There's no trickery here. They're, they're just there. I have no clue how they were able to pack this many LEDs per meter while well, using the COP technique, and I think they're using flip chips, and that's getting a bit too technical, but it's insane. It's actually insane. It full white RGB white power, which is actually decently diffused because, uh, well, they're so tight together in a COP package, so they have the diffusion layer on top of it instead of looking at the bare LEDs, like is the case with this stuff. It draws 60 watt for the two meters I have here. That's 664 LEDs in WLED. And with the brightness limiter turned off, as I said, 60 watts at five volt, that's 12 amps in just two meter of LED strip. And it's pretty bright, I can tell you. It also doesn't get too hot, although if you're planning to run white, I'd certainly put it in some kind of aluminium profile to cool it down. But even running it here on my desk at full power do, using colors and stuff like that, it's perfectly fine. And, well, it, I just I don't really know what to say about it. Here, let me just stop talking and look at some demo footage right now.
right? So awesome. So comparing this to normal LEDs, their purpose are a bit different. As I said, the diffusion layer is already on these LEDs, so they don't really need the diffusion of like an aluminium profile or that horrible attempt at making that silicone neon tube a while back. Um, this basically already has some diffusion built in. So if you have a purpose where you want to look directly at the LEDs, that looks okay because it's diffused because of the camera and the lens and stuff like that. But this stuff actually looks like this in real life. So it doesn't need extra diffusion. Then again, it also has its downside because if you want to shine the LEDs on a wall, for instance, I wouldn't get this stuff. So shining an LED at a wall, you don't want any diffusion and things like that because then, well, basically any diffusion will cause drop in output light power. So yeah, so direct uh, visible applications, awesome. If you want to see fluid animations, this stuff again is awesome. Keep in mind though, that even for two meters and 664 LEDs as we have here, you've basically filled up a single data port because we've already dropped below or are at 60 frames per second. And if you do three or four meters, well, you'd be very much below that. And that would be very visible and well, kind of sad because of the resolution you get because of these tiny LEDs. So multiple data ports like on the dig quad are highly recommended. Now, I've seen several sellers since I found this one selling the same stuff, and I'll have those linked in the description. Um, I also updated my LED power chart because, well, I've seen them list them for 13 watts per meter. But as I said, if I feed them from both sides, because if you're doing white, you do need to feed every two meters, it draws up to 60 watt. So that's 30 watts per meter. But then again, doing single colors and stuff like that, it's a lot better. But those, uh, all that data is in the power sheet if you actually do want to use these. And also, if you want to cut these up, looking on the front, you don't really see any cut marks. So you think, okay, they're half meter pieces and then four pieces soldered together. But then where's the data wire? Well, looking at the underside of the strip, you see it's a positive, negative, and in the middle, a basically a data line. And uh, you can cut it and solder it from there if you really want to make custom lengths of this stuff. Oh, in all my excitement to uh, test this further, I kind of forgot to mention the biggest downside of this thing. Why I hesitated to buy it is because for this 2 meters with 664 LEDs, it's 70 bucks. So this is by far the most expensive LED strip and the shortest I've ever bought. Um, if you start counting by amount of LEDs, I guess that price is okay. But yeah, this for now is hella expensive. So eh, if you need it, uh, it's available. If you don't, it's quite expensive. And well, I'm not sure what else to say about it. If this is the direction LEDs are heading, and I took a look at a warm white analog cob LED strip a while back, and that was pretty good too. But if this is where it's heading with LEDs and getting them even smaller, staying addressable, efficient, because this is 600 LEDs in two meters and at reasonable levels, it doesn't use that much power. That is a quite nice future we're heading towards. So yeah, I've said it a few times now. I don't know what else to say about it. It's really nice to look at directly. Very nice colors, uh, very vibrant, and it can get pretty bright in, in a sense when looking directly at it, not so much radiating it into your room. Um, I showed the girlfriend it while unpacking and she was like, you've got to use that somewhere. That's the best looking LED strip I've ever seen you use. So do if that what you want. And um, yeah, as I said, links in the description if you want to pick some up. And power calculations can be done using the power calculation sheet. And uh, catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.